All right, welcome to Doozer Shop. Uh, I have a new addition to the shop I'd like to show you. Uh, I bought another machine. <laughs> I have more machines than space. Uh, but anyways, this deal, it was too good to pass up. And uh, let me just get right into it. Let me grab the camera and let me show you what I brought home to Doozer Shop. There, there we go. Uh, got my trailer here, got it loaded with a Miltronics Partner Centurion 6 control. Uh, well, let's jump up here. I don't even know. Uh, VK3. Okay, it's a Miltronics VK3. Centurion 6 Miltronics. Um, this is like a, well, it is, it's like a Bridgeport mill. Uh, I'm sure it's a Taiwanese casting with the, uh, the Miltronics put their, uh, their stuff on it. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, this was in use today. Um, and it was making parts and uh, they needed a bigger machine. They actually got a, a bigger Miltronics, uh, the company I acquired this from. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's a uh, hardened steel table. I got all the bags on it because it was, it was drizzling today. In the uh, Not raining, but just a little bit of drizzle. Um, brought it home. Uh, boxways on the knee. The knee is a boxway construction. Uh, can't see it really, but the, the in and out, the Y ways is boxway construction. The table is actually uh, dovetail way. Uh, brush servo motor type drive. It's got three Z axis adjustments. It's kind of interesting. So the regular uh, hand crank for the knee and the uh, regular quill feed uh, like you'd normally have. And uh, the head where it attaches to the ram is on linear guide rails. So that bag's covering a motor, but there is a linear slide. Uh, that's the limit switch right there. So the head goes up and down on the ram. So that's the, that's the computer controlled Z, but you have the manual uh, on the, uh, the, the knee and on the, uh, the spindle quill. So that's cool. Um, like I said, brush type servos, ball screws, of course. Um, this is just, just got home uh, on the trailer. Uh, it's got the uh, whey lubrication, power whey lubrication. Uh, and if it's low on oil, it won't work. Um, air, I think, is just for the power drawbar. Uh, I, I think, uh, I don't know if it's counterbalanced at all. Maybe it's just for the power drawbar, but it's got a Kurt power drawbar, which is uh, killer awesome, right? And there's that axis uh, uh, limit switch there. Everything works on it. Um, for the predominant part of its life, it was uh, drilling and milling brass hinges. You can see all the, oops, the brass fines all over it. Um, well, I can't really, yeah. I don't know if you can see. Boxway construction, the, the ways are just slick with oil, which is awesome. Um, hardened table, I got a, it's got a little moisture on it, but uh, I'm gonna make sure I uh, get this in the shop. Um, yeah, this thing is really nice. Uh, conversational control. Um, the machinist showed me a bit on how to set zeros and, and do the can cycles for whatever. Um, kind of neat. Uh, got coolant in the base. Got a coolant pump. Um, kind of, I mean, that's it. It's a, it's a fully functional CNC mill. Uh, R8 collets might wish it was 40 taper, but R8 is fine because I got Bridgeport and stuff collets. Um, probably a 4,000 pound machine. Uh, I mean, 
this is going to be uh, the first CNC uh, adventure in Doozer Shop. I know nothing. Well, I know a little bit about CNC. Uh, back in college, I programmed some CNC stuff. But uh, yeah, Miltronics, uh, conversational control, um, ball screws, and it's got the hand wheels. Man, when you turn off the servos, you can use it by hand, which is uh, killer awesome. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. Um, the head can tilt side to side, but it cannot nod its chin like a bridge port, but you can uh, angle it side to side. And of course the RAM is like a bridge port too. Um, but I got it for, uh, I'm not even going to mention how much I got it for, but uh, it, it was so inexpensive, <clears throat> I couldn't even uh, pass it up. I couldn't, couldn't even pass it up. For a running, using, workable machine that was in use this morning, before they decommissioned it. I mean, this thing was, uh... So anyways, a friend of mine also, uh, he runs a Miltronics at work. He's a tool and die maker. And uh, he's gonna come over uh, and show me on the weekends how to use this thing. And uh, uh, my, my, my friend uh, Angel, he also helped me unload the Pratt & Whitney. I don't know if, if he caught in the video or not when we were doing the Pratt & Whitney unload. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this trailer is a dandy. This thing is paid dividends. I bought this big text tilt deck trailer, uh, oh, maybe two years ago now. 6000 bucks for this trailer, brand new. It was the best deal uh, for uh, moving machines. But, uh, yeah, I snatched this up. A running, it's 220, three phase. Uh, I'll, I'll get it wired up, no problem. This will work uh, just fine. So, just want to give you a preview before I unload it. Uh, Doozer Shop is moving into the realm of CNC, right, wrong, or indifferent, uh, with a running, working machine. Uh, minimal cleanup is needed, probably just, uh, you know, blow it off, uh, vacuum it off, simple green uh, in a rag, because it's, uh, and I don't even know the year, it might be in uh, 2000s uh, for sure. I'll have to look up when that uh, model uh, MK3 was, was made or whatever it was. So anyhow. Just an update with that. Uh, new addition to Doozer Shop. And I might need an addition out the side here. Or just gable end another 25, 30 feet. Uh, pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'm figuring uh, I need to go about to where that pine tree and that ladder is. And uh, instead of going all the way up to the, uh, uh, the high bay, I'm just going to have a 10 foot ceiling. Uh, that's a 14 foot wall. Uh, right there. I'm, I'm gonna probably have a just a 10-foot uh, Ceiling so it, it won't look like such a long building But anyways, I got to get it in the shop somehow. That's gonna be a challenge uh, So pretty exciting uh, guys keep on uh, watching me as I get it unloaded and uh, get it hooked up and get it positioned and situated and get to using this thing um not too many videos on the inner uh, YouTube about Miltronics. I seen one or two uh, last night, looking quick, showing uh, guys setting up and giving pointers and tips. But uh, yeah, super excited. I'm kind of stoked. If you can't hear it in my voice, uh, I know it's got uh, the plastic bags on it and it's still on the trailer. But once I get this off, I'm going to give you guys a great walk around. And uh, uh, I've got 12 horse worth of phase converter capacity to uh, make the three phase for this. Um, I think it's like a Yaskawa inverter, so it might be able to run on single phase. Don't know. It doesn't matter. I got th the phase converters uh, situated for myself there. That's enough of me rambling. I'm just so excited. Uh, Doozer out.